So how do we know if what we're experiencing is a Sjogren's flare or a significant allergic reaction? And really this is crucial because the approach to managing each is very different. A typical Sjogren's flare might include increased dryness, joint pain, fatigue, feeling like your body is off. And these symptoms tend to build gradually or frankly, sometimes can come about overnight and they can last days to weeks. An allergic reaction on the other hand, often has specific triggers and patterns that you might notice. Symptoms that worsen during certain times of the year, reactions that happen in specific environments, your bedroom at night, office, when you're around a cat, when you're normally not around them, and symptoms improve when you're away from that trigger environment. Nasal congestion, post-nasal drainage, or that feeling of mucus dripping down the back of your throat, sinus pressure that seems disproportionate to your other symptoms and skin reactions like hives, eczema flares, unexplained itching, all may have some root in allergy. But here's where it gets really tricky. These two things can feed off one another. A significant allergic reaction can absolutely trigger a Sjogren's flare. And when your Sjogren's is active, you might be more likely to react to allergens that normally wouldn't bother you, can become more sensitive and irritated by those allergens. I see this in my practice all the time. As a practicing allergy immunology doc, I am used to seeing folks with itchy, watery eyes, runny, stuffy noses, asthma, sensitive airways, hives, all of these things, right? And a patient will, um, and, and because of my, you know, being more vocal about my own experiences with Sjogren's, I see a lot of Sjogren's patients as well. Not typical for an allergy immunology doc. So when I see that patient that has Sjogren's, they're having a really terrible flare and it happens to be the middle of April or May in the Midwest, we dig deeper, we figure out that, oh gosh, maybe it is the tree and grass allergen that's really thrown lighter fluid on the situation. Or maybe it happens a few weeks to a month after a new pet joins the family or there's construction nearby. It's getting that detailed history that can be really helpful and critical and teasing these things out and deciding what those next best steps are.